Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 of my video series where I've been sharing detailed information about regional truck driving positions with Walmart. My name is John Grazer. I'm a driver based in East Texas. You can contact me through email as shown or enter comments below. Today I'm going to explain step by step how to become a Walmart truck driver. But first I want to share the rest of the story. There is no doubt that the parking at the DCs is safe and secure. My smushed vehicle was a freak occurrence, not likely to happen again. The damage was from a loaded dump trailer that tipped over while unloading. The contractor's insurance covered the loss of my beloved van. She was extremely reliable and paid for. Okay, step one to becoming a Walmart truck driver. You need to be a qualified, experienced, commercial Class A CDL driver with a really good driving record and accident history. Walmart does not offer entry-level training. Driving history doesn't have to be perfect. After all, we're only human, but it needs to be pretty darn close and everything needs to be verifiable. After all, we aren't hiring you for the local demo derby. There's plenty of people already driving that way. You must be able to acquire your hazmat endorsement within a timely manner. The exact requirements for driving are listed online at driveforwalmart.com. Step 2. You need to determine where you would like to work. Are you open to the thought of relocating? You must live within 250 miles of your domicile DC. Applications are usually completed online and require that you select a specific job at a specific location in order to apply. Step 3. Make sure you have gathered all the pertinent information for your application. Be very precise with all the dates and contact information for your 10-year work history, even non-truck driving jobs. Walmart is going to go over your application with a fine tooth comb, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. They will inquire about any voids in employment. Be prepared to answer for every day. Locate or acquire any documentation for accidents, whether or not you were at fault. Big companies use insurance clearing houses for claim information similar to credit bureaus. Step 4. After submitting your application, be sure to watch for an incoming phone call from Bentonville, Arkansas. Human Resources will call you to go over a bunch of deal breaker questions and schedule you for assessment week. At this time, do not quit your current job. It is recommended that you stay in good standing with your current employer by using vacation time or maybe develop a case of COVID. Remember, you're not hired until you're hired. You should know this by Thursday afternoon or Friday of assessment week when you hear the words, Congratulations, you are now a Walmart truck driver. Each of the next three work weeks will go as follows. The first will consist of five days classroom orientation. The next week, onto the road with your mentor. The first day you will be in the passenger seat observing and getting to know each other and talking about Walmart's expectations and normal procedures. The remaining four days and then the five days of the following week you will be doing all the driving, earning the regular driver pay, with your mentor there to assist you in learning how Walmart wants things done and how we interact with all the people we come into contact with. After that, you will be worked into your chosen work schedule to start solo driving. I will share more information about the onboarding process in a separate video. I hope you find this information helpful. If the answer is yes, please press the like button. Even better, subscribe. And even more better, enter my name and referral number on your application. Please stay tuned to this channel for part six. Until we meet again, keep it between the lines.